What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're bringing you guys a Raikou squad for ranked regulation G. Now when it comes to Raikou, this Pokemon actually gets overshadowed by its paradox form, Raging Bolt. Considering that Pokemon is so strong, you don't get to see Raikou too much. But trust me guys, Raikou is a strong Pokemon. We're pairing it up with Kyogre today and looking to grab some wins for you guys. But let's talk about this Raikou a little bit more. It's got Inner Focus, which is such a good ability because it kind of blocks out fake outs and intimidates. This Pokemon is also holding a Salt Vest with the Water Terror type. It's got Thunder to pair up with the Rain Squad. And it's got Scald, Snarl, and E-Web. So it can support, it can do some big time damage at the same time. Love this Pokemon so much. Obviously, our restricted Pokemon is in the top left hand corner. It is Kyogre with the Grass Terror type, the Mystic Water, and the Drizzle ability. It's got Water Spout, Origin Pulse, Ice Beam, and Protect. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features Sheer Force, Landorus, Urshifu, Tornadus, and our off meta pick Chestnut. Chestnut gonna be good. Doing Chestnut things, super bulky Pokemon with Leech Seed, Body Press, Spiky Shield, and my favorite move for Regulation G, Y Guard. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Raikou Regulation G team. We're hopping into our first match, and one thing I noticed up against this team is no weather control. So Kai Ogre, we can pretty much just lead this Pokemon and get right after it with a Tailwind user as well. So I do like this lead right here. We're gonna go Kai Ogre right off the rip. We're also gonna go Tornadus. Try to set that tailwind up. We can bring Raikou in the back end. And last but not least, I do like Sheer Force Landers. I do also like Urshfu with this Focus Ash, especially this Dark Urshfu. Works really well up against Shadow Rider Calyrex. So we might want to bring it in here. Is that my plan? Is this what I want to do? I think it's what I want to do. All right, do they have any speed control here either? Maybe Icy Wind on Buttermane or even Trick Room on Amoongus? That could be a little scary. So depending on who they go into, could be a little bit tough. Not Trick Room on a move. I'm going to say Trick Room on Fluttermane. But I like this squad right here. I do like this. I wonder who they're going to lead. If they do end up leading Fluttermane in like a Rage Powder slash Follow Me Pokemon, we might just not even pop Tailwind and just go straight attacking, right? Bleak Wind Storm, Water Spout slash Origin Pulse. And kind of just read out what they're doing because we don't want to set up a Tailwind while they set up a Trick Room. That just wouldn't be good for us. But they're going to end up going into these guys right here. And yeah, I think it's a fair play for us to just... Tailwind and outspeed and you know water spout and do big time damage. Definitely in their best interest. Now, are you booster energy? You are. So booster energy is gonna pop out here. Actually, good news for us because we know this thing's not focus ash, which is really good news for us. So from here, I can just pop a water spout. I can go into a tailwind. Pretty simple plays for us. Pretty simple plays for us. Get right after it. Now you could have ice wind, which is a little scary, but. Tailwind definitely helps us out. And now if my Kyogre outspeeds your Fluttermane, you're in trouble. And it doesn't. It doesn't. And you're able to pop a Sunny Day, which actually kind of hurts the soul. Actually really hurts the soul. How much damage Water Spout doing still? Not bad. Would have KO'd in the rain, which would have been awesome. Would have KO'd in the rain. It would have KO'd in the rain. Now the real question here is, are you going to pop another Sunny Day? Because I don't mind just going into a Rain Dance here and trying to go for an Origin Pulse. Yeah, it's going to be my play. I don't think you got the moxie to go into another sunny day. I really don't think you do. So we go for rain dance. Show me origin pulse for some KOs here. You're gonna go for icy wind. Now Kyogre should still outspeed this Calyrex, correct? We definitely should still outspeed this Calyrex. If you don't, I'm gonna be so upset. Outspeed it and just land his origin pulse. You don't. You do not. So to be honest, these two little boogers just kind of counter me pretty well right here. Especially this flutter me, man. Icy wind and sunny day. Man, that hurts the soul. That really hurts the soul. So I could go into both of these guys. Uh, I mean, I have to go into both of these guys. I'm trying to figure out ways we can actually win this match. I'm trying to figure out ways we can win this match. Now, Raikou is pretty fast. Raikou is pretty fast, and I still have Terror type. And what I'm thinking of doing here, honestly, is just going into a Thunder, looking to KO you, and then Terra Dark Sucker Punch for the KO onto you. Personally, that's what I want to do. But honestly, what is your speed here? I wonder if you just outspeed Fluttermane in general, and I think you do. Being a whole 50 speed, we might not even have to go for Sucker Punch. 
I just want to go for Wicked Blow, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm not even going to Thrasilize here. I'm going to save my Terra. I'm going to save my Terra. Actually, no, we're not. No, we're not. If you Terrasilize Fluttermane, I, I really want to KO it, so. I'm Terrasilize Dark. I'm looking to do as much damage as I possibly can. And looking to bounce back into this game. Because if I could pick up a double KO here, next turn could be very valuable, especially because we got some Tailwind going on. I'm going to Terrasilize you. I'm not going to go for a Sucker Punch. That's not my choice. And he's going to Terrasilize. Now, is this Fluttermane or is this Shadow Rider Calyx? I'm kind of hoping it's Shadow Rider, right? It is Shadow Rider. Shadow Rider's going into Fairy, so Thunder should still KO. That's my whole thing. Thunder should still KO, and I believe my Urshifu should outspeed it. Thunder's gonna fly through here. You're dead. You wasted your terror. All I need to do is outspeed. I could have Sucker Punch, but again, all I need to do is outspeed. And we're right back in this game. Getting rid of Calyrex and Fluttermane. Outspeed Urshifu. Let's go. That's big time. That's big time. So Wicked Boy's gonna fly here. And get rid of you. It's now sitting at a 2v2. We got full HP. If they're special attackers, I can snarl with Raikou. I can always sucker punch here. I got crits going on here. I got Tailwind for, I think, one more turn? Is it one more? Kind of need to know. Is it one more? They're going to go into Urshfu of their own, which we both have Dark Urshfu. So right now, I'm just faster. We got one turn left in Tailwind. Um, hmm. Thunder's definitely our play. We gotta use it wisely in the rain. And you could detect here. You could definitely detect. But you know what? I'm just going to... I'm just gonna attack like this. Wicked Blow and Thunder. They could both protect, and they're, none of them are going to. So Thunder is going to do some nice damage. Give me a Paralyze here, too. No Paralyze. And Wicked Blow is gonna fly through it, and probably trigger Sturdy. Which we love. Which we love. That's some big-time damage. Sturdy's gonna pop in here. We got some good damage across the board, and Ivy Cuds are going to follow. Now, are they doubling down into Urshifu here? They are. So their, def their defense is lowered. Their defense is lowered there. Now, I wonder if an E-Web can actually pick up the KO, because I believe my Raikou's actually faster than all of them. Even without Tailwind. Raikou's a pretty fast Pokemon. So we started off slow, but the match is now super close. Tailwind's gone. E-Web definitely going to be my play here. And we're going to look to slow him down and pick up some KOs at the same time. Let's do it. So he could go for Soccer Punch. You could spike his shield, shield here as well. And I'm curious to see if E-Web can actually KO Urshifu in one shot. It might take two. It might take two. But with that special defense drop due to close combat, we could KO in one. There is a possibility that we do KO in one. And Raikou clutched up. You're going to go for a Soccer Punch here, which is fine. We soak it pretty well. And you actually outspeed my Raikou, and we're going to lose this match. We live on one. Raikou, do him dirty! Get him, Raikou! Yo. I'm a 1 HP bandit. I never thought I'd say that. I just 1 HP banded it. That never happens to me. Thank you, Poke Gods. Want to know to get things started. Honestly, it feels good to be a 1 HP bandit. It happens to me all the time, so it feels really good for my Raikou to survive on one and us to bounce back and grab ourselves a win. Considering they played really well with that Fluttermane and that Calyrex, countering our Kyogre and Tornadus, I honestly thought we were going to sweep that match. But again, they played it really well. Um, I thought we bounced back really well with Raikou and Urshfu in the Tailwind. They really just thrived out there. But we're hopping into our second match, going up against another Calyrex team. This looks like a mono ghost team. So Urshfu is going to be our best friend here. Sucker punches for days going to be able to fly. So do I lead it? Do I save it for the back end? I think we kind of save it for the back end considering their only way of weather control could be Sableye. Um, huh. Do I lead Kyogre? I could lead Kyogre. Um, hmm. Who else could I lead here? I think I want to leave Kyogre. I'm going to go Kyogre here, and I might also go in with, like, Lando. I mean, I could just set up Tailwind with you. And maybe just protect Kyogre turn one, get off that Tailwind, then, like, Rainy Day or Rain Dance, all that good stuff. Yeah, you know what? I like this. We're going to go Kyogre. We're going to go Tornadus. We're going to bring Raikou again. And you know what? It's the same squad here. It's just same squad. Honestly, I could bring, uh, like, Landers in for Raikou, which honestly would be good. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to switch out Raikou for Lando. <clears throat> Actually, maybe I should have brought Raikou. Snarl works wonders here. Snarl does work wonders. <laughs> it's just so good. But uh, I like Lando for the damage output. Sheer Force, Life Orb, especially if we get off Tailwind, if we get off uh, Sansier Storms, even in the rain. 
the damage output is just immense, so I really don't want to pass it up. I really don't want to pass it up. So if I had to guess here, though, they're probably going to lead Sableye. They need some sort of weather control, and Sableye is their weather control Pokemon. But if they don't, which they do, um, I think we just set up Tailwind here, and we let him Sunny Day. We maybe just protect this turn. Yeah, I'm cool with just protecting and setting up maybe even a Taunt. Yeah, I think taunting you could be a good turn for us. We protect and we taunt. Actually, are you Dark and Ghost? Hold up. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. What are you? You are Dark and Ghost. You know what? Good call. Good call, Jeans. So, we're going to protect. We're going to set up a Tailwind. We're just going to get some Speed Control here. I mean, I could go for Bleak Wind Storm. But I don't want to Defiant Pop. Let's just Tailwind. Let's just Tailwind. Because usually whenever I use Bleak Wind Storm on any Defiant Pokemon, I always get that speed drop, and then their attack just goes through the roof, and it's just like, oh my lord, what are we doing? But I actually end up protecting Kyogre. Are we going to see a Sunny Day here? I'm going to see a Fake Out. We are going to see a Fake Out. Now, this leads me to think that you're doubling down into Kyogre because you faked it out. Or are you going for a bulk up? That's the real question. I'm going to go for a final gambit. Yo. Yo. You, you better stop that. You better stop that. I think we outspeed here, right? Does that count as an attacking move? This is fine. I gotta look that up. Is Final Gambit an attacking move? Give me one second. Good thing I have two monitors, right? Let's see. Is this considered an attacking move? It's a special move. All right. So a taunt wouldn't wouldn't help us out from that. I think we just straight up attacked. You, you might be going for Sunny Day here, but we're, we're attacking here. You're going to quash me. That's fine. You're going to quash me. You should have quashed my Kyogre. You're going to take out my Tornadus. That's totally fine. Okay. Thank you. You could have taken out my Kyogre. Thank you. What, you think I was swapping or something? No, I'm dropping a Water Spout. Thanks. Now I have Kyogre in... Tailwind in rain Ready to just Destroy your team Alright cool Match number 2 looking mwah, Beautiful We can now bring out our Urshfu This is the one Pokemon that they don't want to see Considering they have all ghost type Pokemon And I cannot believe You didn't just take out my Kyogre there I would have doubled down the final Gambit And I'm going into Fluttermane And the final Pokemon going to be Calyrex all right, so Calyx comes out here. Any booster energies? That's the real question. We're going to hope no booster energy. One could always dream, right? One can always dream. He's going to boost our energy speed here. Um, we honestly should just detect. And let them kind of do their thing while we drop an origin pulse. I could go for water spout, but... I'm going to do this. We'll see a terror type pop out here from most likely Calyrex, right? I probably should have attacked... I probably should have attacked, but it's going to be a Stellar. Woo, a little bit of Stellar action terror type. Little Stellar terror type. Pretty cool. And we're just going to detect the Urshville. If I had to guess, you're probably going to go for a fairy move into it. I'm going to go for an Icy Wind instead. Now, we learned from the last match that Kai Ogre doesn't outspeed <laughs> here. So I'm really hoping to get eat up an Astro Barrage with Stellar, right? Really hoping here. And if it can in Landis Origin Pulse, we pretty much are just set up for victory. But again, Astro Barrage with the Terror Boost. Me no likey. Kyra, right, you got this. It's all day. It's all day, baby. It's all day. Now Landis Origin Pulse. Now just land it. Kyogre. Alright, you hit one. Who'd you hit? Alright, that works. You took out Calyrex. Cool. Alright, thank you. Thank you, Kyogre. Thank you. That's all I needed. I'm all, I can never hit a double, man. I can never hit a double. Precipice Blades... Or, uh, Origin Pulse. Can never. Can never. But from here, I mean, Ice Beam gonna be your best friend. Uh, we are gonna Terrasilize and just launch a Sucker Punch here. And do as much damage as we possibly can. But I think they cancel match. Yep. Cancel match. 2-0. and oh, We are killing it with this squad. Moving on to match number 3. And we're going up against more Peko. And I love this Pokemon considering it has a Hangry mode. To be honest, I honestly have a hangry mode. When I'm hungry, I get a little bit angry. But, you know, Morpeko is just awesome. And I think it's such a cool Pokemon. So, let's see how we do up against it. We're going up against Koridon as well with Walking Wake, Ursaluna, Wimsicott, and last but not least, uh, Fluttermane. So, really, 
sunny team, right? They really thrive off the sun. Um, Kyogre going to be a friend of ours. Same thing with Tornadus, but I don't think leading them together is going to be good for us. Because then they can just go sunny day and it would just be like an issue. So I could honestly just go like Kyogre with Raikou and then bring Tornadus in the back end and maybe Landers. But I mean, like, I want to bring a Chestnut because we haven't used it today. But it's a very niche pick, right? It's very niche. I mean, it's not going to be good up against what we have today. So I think going into like Lando or even Urshu is in our best interest. And I'm going to go Lando here. I'm going to hope to win this weather war, to be honest. As much as I want to use Chestnut here. I mean, again, very niche pick. We're not going to, we don't, we don't see it too much. And it's only good up against certain Pokemon. So especially up against the Sun team, it's just not happening. But I hope they bring more Pekka. Hope it goes into its hangry mode, turns purple, all that good stuff. And they are going to lead it, which we absolutely love. So they lead more Peko. And Kyogre going to be here. So I think maybe like hard swapping Kyogre or maybe just going for an Ice Beam here might be in our best interest to take out Whimsicott. Could also go into my Grass Typing, which I am going to do because more Peko is scaring me with that. What is that? Aurora Wheel? Isn't that its move? But I'm just going to launch an Ice Beam here. And on top of that, um, is he special attacking or physical? I don't even know. I want to hard swap into like Tornadus here. Just so we can reset rain next turn. Just so we can reset the rain. And maybe we should have just protect the Kyogre this turn. Kinda kinda went from there. There's a swap onto my boy. Tornadus gonna fly through here. And we'll bring it out here. And chances are again they're going for sunny day. Or even tailwind. But I like the grass terror type here. Really helps us out up against more Peko. And Ice Beam should do rather decent damage, right? Should do some nice damage across the board here. Sunny Day. Fake out on more Peko. Ooh. Fake out Taunt. Oh no, you were going to taunt my Raikou slot? Now I can't. E oh man, that's just terrible for us. That is just terrible for us. Um, This thing's going hangry. <laughs> now I might have to swap my Kyogre. Could try to go for an Orange Pulse. I mean, they gotta drop a sunny day, though. They gotta. I'm gonna go for Bleak Storm. Maybe should have swapped Kyogre. We'll, we'll see. Really surprised they didn't go for sunny day that turn. But I kind of forget, or forgot, that more Peko learns Fake Out. I mean, I don't really see too many more Pekos, so not really forgot, just didn't really know, right? So more, Teko, more Peko is going to protect here. And what are you going? Is this now the Sunny Day turn? Tailwind. Tailwind comes out here. No Sunny Day just yet. Bleak Wind Storm is going to, honestly, we're, we might just KO this uh, this Wimscott here, which could be pretty big because then you just leave me the rain. All I need to do is land Origin Pulse into Wimscott. Jeans, can you do this? You gotta bury, but I still feel as Origin Pulse will KO. Even at half HP. Can I land it? Come on! Land it! Yes! KO! Yes! Big time. Origin Pulse. O Pulse landing. O Pulse landing. Or Peko going back into his other mode. Oh, and it, like, eat something. It stops being hangry. Just like munched on, like, I don't even know, little crumbs that it found. But now they taunted me, which is a slight issue. Let's be honest here. Slight issue, and we're pretty much forced to swap Kyogre, right? We are pretty much forced to swap Kyogre. Now, do I go into Raikou, or do I go into Lando? I mean, I could just protect Kyogre this turn, but I really want to swap it. I think going into Raikou might be a better option. We're going to do that, and how many turns left in our taunt? One. I can survive one turn. I don't even know if we can. I'm going to go for Bleak Storm anyway. Even in the sun. Even in the sun. But if I'm going to lose to anybody today, I'm glad it would be more Pekka, right? We're 2-0. We're either going to be 3-0. So we're either grabbing a we're either grabbing a perfect record or a loss to more Pekka, which I, I I mean, I'm happy with both. I'm happy with both. We will see a Fairy Terra pop out from Coridon. Um, That's okay for us. I mean, we do have Sludge Bomb Tornadus in the back end, which is pretty good. The collision course is going to fly here, and I don't know how to feel about that. We soak it, which is pretty good. 
More Pekka's gonna go for that Roar Wheel. Can we soak this? We do soak that, so I mean, Tailwind could, we could either go for Tailwind or Rain Dance, and I think going for Tailwind is probably more so in our interest, right? Unless we get double speed drops here. And there's one. There's one. I think I'd rather go for Tailwind. How many turns are left in there, Tailwind? Two. I'd rather go for Tailwind, because I can set I can set the ring with my guy. Um, okay. So from here, you know what? Do we just E-Web him again? I'm going to try to land a Thunder in the Coridon. Let's be honest here. I'm going to set up this Tailwind. So Tailwind for the rest of the squad. We have two great back-end Pokemon. Um, I like this. If they don't swap Coridon, we could be sitting pretty good. Aurora Wheel going to fly here, and I die out to that. And I totally forgot that that actually changes typing, which is really cool. I think that's so dope. That it changes typing from dark to electric, depending on what mode it is it's in. <clears throat> but we'll see a Terra Blast finish off our... Uh, our boy, and I think more Pekka might be plus two, so more Pekka might just be fastest on the field. More Pekka, fastest on the field, and it is changing to its electric type, which is pretty good for us because now I can just go into my boy. Um, he's probably gonna swap Coridon next turn, so we can actually make that read that he swaps Coridon. And we have two Pokemon that resist electric types. Well, one actually is immune to electric type moves, and Kyogre with the grass terror type resists electric type moves. All right, cool. So, obviously, Coridon's going to swap. But what's your final Pokemon? Is it Walking Wake or Fluttermane? It's Walking Wake or Fluttermane. Let's be honest here. It's Walking Wake or Fluttermane. And I think from here, we should just go into a Water Spout. Because I don't think is going to do a lot of damage. And did we just Sand Seer Storm? Or do we Earth Power? I think we just Sand Seer Storm. It's going to be raining. What's up? Let's see, he's going to withdraw Coridon. I think we pick up the double KO, and now it turns into a 2v1, right? Fluttermain. Fluttermain comes out here. Or Pekka's going to protect, so it turns into a 2v2, but then we have Tailwind turns. We're going to say bye-bye to Fluttermain. Fluttermain, get on out my face. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. We do some big-time damage with Sandseer Storm. Water Spout's going to follow behind. He's going to turn into a Dark More Pekka, which is actually kind of scary. Dark More Pekka is scaring me. I could just protect Kyogre. I feel like he's got to be scared of Kyogre. Is there Tailwind's gone? He goes Dark More Pekka. He's getting hangry. I love More Pekka. I need me a More Pekka team. More Pekka is just sick. And he out comes back out Karate. So a Sludge Bomb, let's be honest, should finish him off. Um... We have Tailwind for two more turns, correct? Yeah, so you can't just like protect this turn and waste out uh, Tailwind. Um, I could protect Kyogre. I could attack with Kyogre as well. Um, I think just using our Tailwind turns is, is going to be nice here. So I'm just going to go for Sludge Bomb here. I'm going to go for Ice Beam into the more Pekko. And Sludge Bomb, again, should just finish you off. And it does. Cool. So yeah, we, we, we pretty much win this match. We got a crit, but hey. It was killing you anyway, let's be honest. Sheer Force Life Orb Landorus just hits like an absolute truck on top of four other trucks. Rebecca's gonna go for an Aurora Wheel. Good thing I didn't protect Kyogre. Good thing I didn't protect Kyogre. Nice Beam's gonna fly. Oh, and we pick up the KO. More Pekka with Lightweight. Little Lightweight. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. A 3 0 perfect record with the Strike team. I love this squad. There it is, add another 3-0 perfect record onto the channel in Scarlet and Violet. We got to use Raikou to its fullest potential, doing big time damage with Thunder, picking up some KOs and speed drops with Electroweb, and then the rest of the team besides Chestnut was absolutely thriving. We didn't get to use Chestnut today, but like I mentioned in today's video, it's a very niche Pokemon, and I showcase it on the channel before, so if you guys want to check it out, just, you know, search my name and search Chestnut, and you guys can find it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button, so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.